Hey everybody, it's Jason here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on how to show you how to connect your mixer to your computer and vice versa. So right here we have a standard mixer. This is a PV10 mixer board. And back here, or over to the left, we have um, the back of a computer. And basically going to show you how to hook up your normal sound card, which is, you know, right here to the mixer the way I do it. There's different ways that you can do this. I like to go the way where I have um, adapters and things such as that because I, you can never have too many cables and adapters. And this is a simple thing to make it universal. So basically the first thing you want to do is for me I have this adapter here. It is a stereo mini jack to left right RCA to let you know red is usually right and white is usually left you can tell by R and R red for right or R for right and uh, R for red and then white is left so what you want to do with this is connect this to your output which is this green connector if um, you don't see any color codes like green or anything just look for what looks like a speaker out or it might say line out or speaker out you can connect this to your your line out the back or even a headphone jack Another thing you want to do is I have a pair of RCA cables right here and what we're going to do is connect that to this and right here. Now first of all the use of the adapter makes this universal because RCA is like in anything. So if you have the RCA outputs then you know it's universal for almost anything um, most mixers what you can do with this end that comes from there is you're gonna connect this to the line in on one of your channels and then there you basically connected your computer to your mixer now you might say well my mixer doesn't have RCA well you can do things like you can get mini jack to quarter inch things like that or if you have these are quarter inch right here what you can do is get these adapter this is RCA to quarter inch and you just basically go like this and this so now your mixer which had quarter inch is now converted to RCA again it's universal you just connect your your connectors uh, red for right and white for left and there you go that's easy audio out from your computer into the input on the mixer to one of your channels okay so now you got your audio out going in here you got your music and then you let's say you have microphones via XLR or whatever here mixing now you want to get it back into the computer okay so I'm gonna disconnect this and just so we can you know so it doesn't get too confusing for everyone alright so we have our adapter right here you can get another one and another RCA cable. So you're going to take this and you're going to connect this to the line in or mic input on the computer. And then you're going to take this end and go to um, the tape out for RCA or line out. There you go. Now again, if you don't have RCA out, you can get these RCA to quarter inch adapters. So then you just connect them into here connect your RCA to there. There you go. Now you got audio going out from the mixer to your computer and then audio from your computer to your mixer so that you can mix your music in whatever and, and have it go out to a live broadcast or recording. Now one thing to remember don't have um, loopback control on or anything in Windows or Windows XP or Vista or anything because that's going to cause an infinite loop which is going to be like uh, this bad noise like feedback so just make sure that uh, in your your volume control and XP that the line or microphone is muted in the, the volume control and that uh, play playback slash loopback is disabled in Windows Vista or Windows 7 another thing here you make your adjustments what you want to do is go for what you want for maximum volume here which you're comfortable with and then on the computer um, 
in the line input in the settings for your output and your input you're going to want to adjust them especially the input maybe to 25 percent um, some sound cards might take the full 100 percent which means when this is at zero here which would be zero here it would it would uh, be zero on the computer and anything over could cause it to distort. Or you may be able to set it, depending on what sound card you have, to max it out and then turn down the volume gain on the computer, whether it's the Mac or Windows, and then setting it to the optimal level. And you want to do that so you can set your mixer to the maximum level. And then you have you know what you're comfortable with here. And this is set to its optimal level so that you can leave this, the computer, and then just use your mixer to control it and then you'll know what the limits are. So you might have this all the way up to 10 and 10 um, with your setting your gain up and then that would maybe peak to about 98% on here with the volume on here might be set to 25%. I know with mine I have mine set to 15% and then when I turn this up it maxes it, it, it pretty much almost clips. Now if you have this on 100% and this all the way up on some sound cards it, it will distort and then you don't want that then you would have to set this lower so I set mine so that it's optimal on the input and then I just make my adjustments on the mixer so yeah so there you go hopefully this isn't too confusing if you have any questions or anything just comment and uh, tell me what you need clarified on all of this or send an email questions at magintech.net Check out our website at magatech.net and the live page at live.magatech.net. And if you like our videos, subscribe. I answer pretty much as many comments as I can, but I do see all the comments. And just send me a message on YouTube or anything if uh, you want some help there. So uh, this is the way I hook up my stuff. Again, I use uh, mini jack to RCA. Um, this is a female end right here. And then I just connect mail to mail RCA on each end when I can. And there, and RCA cables are cheap. And almost any device has them. Most mixers have them. But then again, if you don't and you do get RCA, you can get these quarter inch to RCA adapters, TRS connectors. And yeah. So, yeah. There you go. There you have it. How to connect your mixer to your computer and your computer to your mixer. All right, we'll chat at you later.